guys, how's it going? So today I am 24 weeks pregnant. Two weeks left in this trimester. Oh my gosh, that sounds unreal. I've got a lot to talk about as far as symptoms go, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it and start with symptoms. The biggest thing that has been killing me both 23 and 24 weeks is my pups has now flared up. If you don't know what that is, pups is a rash that some women get on their bellies when they're pregnant. It itches something horrible and there's nothing that I can do to make it not itch. Like Benadryl won't do anything and uh, anti-itch cream won't do anything. Nothing. Nothing will help me and it happens every single time I'm pregnant without fail. And it's always around 20 weeks. And then I just suffer for the next half of my pregnancy until I give birth. So that's the biggest thing that has been bothering me this week is my pups. It's been awful. My sciatic pain this week has been really bad also. It's gotten way worse than in previous weeks. Now I can't like sit a certain way and I can't sit on the floor anymore for very long at least before my sciatic nerve starts hurting me and it's right here in my like butt area and it clenches up and it hurts so bad to try to get up or try to move. It's like that muscle like locks up and it hurts really bad to try to move it. And it's gotten a lot worse. I think it's because she's gone through such a big growth spurt from 21 weeks until now. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but if you look at my 21 week bump and here in a little bit when you see my 24 week bump, there's such a big difference. I really think that she's gone through a huge growth spurt and that's why my sciatic pain is now starting to bother me worse is because she's much bigger. <laughs> Speaking of those kind of issues, I now have to sleep with a pillow in between my legs. I can't not sleep with one now because it'll just hurt my hips really bad and hubby is so sweet I didn't even like mention it to him except I think once I think I mentioned to it one time the whole week and that man I really need a pillow in between my legs and he got me this big huge body pillow <laughs> and he was like will this be okay and I'm like yep that'll be great so <laughs> I have a body pillow now that I now sleep with and it's so much more comfortable to go to sleep now and I really do like need it it's at a point to where I can't sleep without it as far as feeling Andy move she is so active. I was just talking to Devin earlier about this that I don't think that we've had such an active baby as this one and he agreed with me. He was like yeah I don't remember uh, Carly or McKinley being this active when you're pregnant with them and I was like right? <laughs> McKinley is such a laid-back baby and she was that way even in utero like she was never very active never very crazy. She moved don't get me wrong but she wasn't like all over the place and Carly was active too but not this active. She moves all the time and I'm not kidding I don't think this child sleeps I really don't <laughs> she must sleep when I do or like not at all because she moves constantly the Braxton Hicks contractions the past couple weeks have picked up a smidge not like something major nothing like that nothing to worry about it's like every day I always get that one that is like oh my gosh it's an actual real contraction <laughs> please don't go into labor right now it's kind of like that but usually they're mild and they're nothing big or scary and I get them the most at night I've noticed like the nighttime is usually where I get the most of them occasionally I get a couple during the day but they're usually at night so that's something else I've been dealing with Andy loves my ribs. She loves being up here in my rib area. I don't know why, <laughs> but it makes me very breathless and very winded. And I can't do like housework even without having to take breaks because I'm so out of breath. So that's kind of a pain to deal with. And the last symptom, and I'm done with symptoms, uh, is the pregnancy insomnia is horrible. And I'm so tired, you guys. I'm tired and I can't go to sleep. I will lay there and I will toss and I will turn. I'll go up to go pee. I will come back and toss and turn I'm at that stage of pregnancy and it's not that I want to stay up until one two sometimes three in the morning yes sometimes that late and then the girls get me up whenever they're awake and I'm just exhausted and then for some reason at night that insomnia just hits me and I'm like great I'm not sleeping tonight awesome in other news our maternity pictures are next weekend I can't wait to get them done. I can't wait to show you guys. This is a very special maternity session for us. It's not just maternity pictures. It's also Christmas pictures and our anniversary. And I'm so excited. It's going to be very special and I just can't wait. We are also getting a P.O. box very soon. A couple of you guys have asked me if I have one and I'm getting one. And I'm also finishing on my baby registry. So if you guys want to see it or if you want to get Andy anything, it'll be there. You can look at it. I just still have to put some finishing things on there, but that's about it. I'm hoping to have it available for you guys next pregnancy vlog. But if it's not there, which I think it will be, I'm like 99% sure it'll be there. But in case it's not, it will definitely be there, the pregnancy vlog after that. So 
26 weeks. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys my 24 week bump and I will even try to show you guys my pup's uh, rash. I just don't know how well you're going to see it in the camera, but I will try to show you guys my rash as well so you will see like how all over the place it is. But this is my 24 week bump. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to be on Baby Andy Watch, you can follow me on all my social media. The links are down below. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.